Welcome into the week eight edition of KSR's Pick 3, the number one place on the internet for college football picks against the spread. I am Drew Franklin. He is Adam Luckett. And you might notice we are without Nick Roush this week as he is spending time with his new baby boy. We again congratulate the Roushes on the second edition to the family. And hopefully Nick will be back with us next week to make some money and to bet on Purdue uh, this week we are sponsored by MyBookie, per usual. As you know you know the drill by now, go to MyBookie.com, and for your first-time deposit, they will double it up, up to $1,000 if you use promo code KSR. That's MyBookie.ag. Go create your account, put in your money, and then they'll take that money and multiply it by two if you use promo code KSR. That's at MyBookie.ag. Luck it, I congratulated the Roushes. I also want to congratulate Drew Franklin for going 3-0 and and staying hot. I mean, I'm just printing money. When are you guys going to get in here in the green with me? You're getting in a magic number territory now uh, that you could win this this little competition. Uh, I believe 16-7-1. Is that right, Drew? There we go. I just, yeah. I just made it pop up. I'm six back in the win column, so I'm going to need some bad weeks from you to catch up, and I'm going to have to get on a heater or two. But uh, – Still You're living above, in one and two uh, range. You you live at one and two. We just got to get you over that hump. I think it's been three weeks of one and two in a row or something along those lines. So uh, tough little stretch here. But I'm still beating Roush, so that and that's all that counts. And so get me above him, and I'll I'll take I'll take what I can get. And we're not completely without Roush. He texted in his picks while um, getting in a brief nap. Uh, <laughs> Let me got, guess, Wisconsin minus three over yeah. Purdue. <laughs> Actually, you're going to laugh. I, we could have done all three of his picks. But, uh, yeah, I think I might have interrupted his nap. But we will have Nick's picks. He's just not here with us. Uh, Lucky, why don't you go ahead and start us off with your first one? Yeah, I'm going to go a little American action. Cincinnati at SMU under 58 and a half. SMU has kind of a Wandell Robinson situation. They have one receiver that's kind of the entire offense. He's got a foot slash toe injury. He might not play Saturday. Um, typically, Luke Fickle's teams are really good in the under on the road. They play a lot like kind of like Stoop, squeeze the game down. And the under 6-0 and um, ATS in this series in the last six meetings. So I'm going to go Cincinnati at SMU under 58 and a half. Going with an under. I like that. I'm going to start with an over in the Big 12, where I like a shootout between Texas Tech and West Virginia. West Virginia made me a little money last week when I called the upset over Baylor. And these are two teams that put up a lot of points and a lot of yards per game. I think we might get in the 70s here, and I will again be rooting for Neil Brown. But for the sake of the pick three, I'll especially be rooting for the points. And I'm going over 65 and a half in that one. And now let me pull up Nick Rouse's pick. Wasn't very prepared. Oh, yeah, of course. I don't even know why I'm looking. What do you think, Nick? What do you think his first bet of the weekend is? Uh, I'm trying to think of some, what's I'll, the most. I'll give you a hint. It's It involves <laughs> Iowa. Oh, Iowa Hunters, of course. Yeah. Under what, 60 or 49? Wow, surprise, surprise. Nick Rouse is on the <laughs> Iowa Under. The train Brent. he has been riding to the station every week, and he will stay that way this week. Brian Ferentz, he stinks, terrible, no good play caller. Iowa probably won't even get across the 50-yard line. Ohio State wins 45 nothing under City in Ohio, at Ohio State. Wow, Roush is here. That's a good Roush. <laughs> you know, I actually thought yesterday when I remembered we have the pick three, we won't have Roush. I got on Amazon to see how quickly I could get one of those bald caps, and I was just <laughs> going to be him for the show. But uh, Jeff Bezos hadn't got that fast to be able to get that here for me now. Uh, I guess that's all, all for our first picks. What do you have for your second one? Yeah, another under here, Mississippi State at Alabama. We've seen Mississippi State's offense twice in the SEC go on the road and not figure out anything. I think you can see it again. Leach's teams have scored nine total points in two years against Alabama. And so Crimson Tide have had a lot of success against them. This is another series. Um, usually goes under for whatever reason. So I'm going to go under 60 and a half here, Mississippi State. Um, at Alabama. I don't think Alabama's going to score close to 50 like they did last week, um, but I also think Mississippi State's going to have issues scoring, so I feel good about that under 60 and a half. Well, I hope you're right there, and I also hope that Mississippi State has trouble scoring because I took the bait. I'm taking Bama at minus 21. 
Uh, I mean, once I saw a stat, they haven't lost back-to-back regular season games in like 15 years. Not that there's a threat they're going to lose this one, but I think it's a big get-right game, and uh, they hold Mississippi State, maybe even scoreless. I think last year was 49-9. The year before that was 41 and nothing. It's clear Saban is ready for the Pirate and Will Rogers and whatever gonna, they're going to bring. So I am rolling tide covering three touchdowns there. And I believe Bama's won like 15 in a row in that series. So Yeah, pretty pretty lopsided. Yeah, history there. on your side there. Uh, Nick Roush, let's see. He's He's got a, another under, and he's staying in the conference. He's taking a little <laughs> under with the, with the – Jimbo with Fisher Jimbo. stinks. Marcus Satterfield <laughs> stinks. Shane Beamer, all he can do is kick field goals. So this is going to be a 17-14 game. Give me the under in South Carolina, Texas A&M. <laughs> Man, he, can t- he can take off every week. you got this one figured out. <laughs> uh, what's your uh, third pick of the evening? Give me the the road dog in the Derby City. Pittsburgh, plus two and a half. We've seen what Louisville struggles with. Um, with Scott Fitzsatterfield. It's any teams that have any like decent to good offensive line play. Uh, Pittsburgh consistently has really good defensive linemen. They've got a few guys that are going to play on Sunday. And quietly, their running back, Israel Banacanda, is putting like, an All-American season together. He's got 830 rushing yards, 12 touchdowns. Um, he's on. He's going to be like the first team All-ACC back this year. So that Pitt can run the ball. Um, Pitt can. Pitt can get in Mikhail Cunningham, or Malik Cunningham's face. I like Pittsburgh here. I think they're the better team, and they're catching points on the road. So I'm going to take uh, Narduzzi's Panthers here. You mentioned uh, Alabama winning 15 straight in that rivalry. Purdue has lost 15 straight in their rivalry with Wisconsin. And in honor of a new Roush coming into the world this week, for my third pick, I'm back in the Boilermakers in Madison. I actually have very little faith in this game because Purdue seems to always get killed. Uh, the scoring margin's like 20 points uh, in this losing streak they're on right now. But simply because Baby Frank and because Roush couldn't be here, I will do the bet we all know he wanted to do, and I am on the Boilermakers. I'll go ahead and make it the upset. I don't even need the two and a half. They're winning in Madison and breaking that losing streak. Um, typical fashion, usually when you bet – Four, I think in games involving Purdue, we're like 0 and 7 against the spread. I'll pick three this year. Um, so I hope you it's can. My, it's my heater versus uh, it's my heater versus the whatever we've had going on with Purdue. And uh, for Roush's final pick, he's uh, not going under. He's going with an over out west in UCLA, Oregon. Take it away, Nick Roush. 71 and a half points. Chip Kelly returning to Oregon? Are you kidding me? Versus Bo Nix. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. First one to 50 points wins. Give me the over 71 and a half in Eugene. Just like him. <laughs> uh, he also threw in a, a bonus play, which was almost one of my three. So we'll make it the official pick three bonus plays. Tonight in the Thursday night game, I like to fight in John Sumrall's yeah. getting three points. Nick also texted that one in as his fourth pick. So we'll throw in a little Troy plus three there. You got any NFL action tonight or for the weekend, or is that looking too far ahead? No, nothing. I kind of like the tops Friday night. Playing UAB at home, big game. I, I have to look up that spread. I think it's like close. These are the one or two either way, but I kind of like the tops straight up. So, And they play Friday. That's like the big Friday night college football game. So um, big, big moment there for WKU. So give me the tops. That, and we'll get to actually keep up with some football instead of being in a press box. So that will be fun as well, as there's no Kentucky game. And I, I guess we'll have Roush back. I don't know how long paternity leave is in this company. Um, I guess you've done it. How, how's this work? Will he be back next week? <laughs> uh, yeah, I got two weeks. So we'll see. Well, the Roush has kind of been on pseudo leave here for the last month. So uh, I was beginning to think I'm the pregnancy sure, was sure. fake. <laughs> But we'll be back next week, maybe with or without Roush. Go to my bookie, use promo code KSR, and good luck. Let's continue to get this bread.